Just give us the broad view of your cars coming on the market. None of these are out yet, but you've got a hybrid, you've got a sedan, you've also promised an SUV. Yeah, there's a hybrid poster one, mm -hmm. a very exclusive collector's car, 500, we produce every year, so that's really um, a very luxurious, exclusive sports car. Now, very different to that, poster two is, uh, is a full electric, Car. We, we created it here a in stunning the US for a price of $55,500 after federal taxes. So, a very competitive offer for a powerful 300 kilowatt long range car. And um, I think, specific for us and our company, is uh, the great design, Scandinavian pure progressive design. Mm. That's what it stands for. And, you know, I'm here in town because of. Um, Google I.O., we have an Android-powered infotainment system in that car. So let's talk about this. You're using Android Automotive, uh, the Android Automotive operating system in your car. Why did you choose Google's operating system? It's, I think, for the benefit of our customers to have this incredible artificial, artificial intelligence of Android Google Assistant in there. It is the smoothest way of integrating your digital life that you're used to into your car. You get Google Maps, you get the Google Play Store. All that is an amazing offer. And you're opening a new R&D center in the UK. Um, what's the strategy there? Why the UK, especially given all of the political upheaval happening as a result of Brexit, or the lack of Brexit right now? <laughs> Well, that doesn't change the fact that there are great engineers and people who really know how to engineer sports cars that are lightweight. Um, it will accelerate our way to market. And um, obviously, low volume production is as well their speciality. So we think it's a brilliant addition to our competences. So what do you have on Tesla? I mean, is it fair to say you're coming for Tesla? Well, we are adding the offer in that market. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's an intriguing offer with a company that is offering, as I mentioned, the great design, our Android system. I think you can trust and rely on our promises because we have the backbone of you know, great parents who know how to produce cars. We can as well work with the supply chain when it comes to spare parts and stuff. So I think there's a high trust into um, us delivering on what we promise. So let's talk about your parents, Volvo and Geely, the Chinese car maker. We're in the middle of a trade war between the United States and China. How might that impact your plans, your production? Um, is it something that you are preparing for? We have prepared for that. Um, our business plan is conservatively planned on the tariffs in place right now. So our offer of $55,500 for the poster two is based on the existing tariffs. As a company, we support free trade. We believe in that as a benefit for the whole world, but we live with the facts as they are. So, you know, it's difficult to figure out what's actually happening between the United States and China right now, but there are reports that the Chinese are backtracking. You've got President Trump threatening tariffs as of Friday. What would you like to see happen? How would you like to see this resolved? That is um, beyond my wishes. And I really only can say we have adapted to the situation as it is. Will we see improvement? Great, we would embrace that. If not, we are prepared for what is um, right in place now.